IPC was developed by FSAU, the former FAO Food Security Analysis Unit in Somalia, to respond to decision makers' strong call for consensual, rigorous, and comparable food security analysis to enable effective response to the Somalia food crises. IPC FSAU was born out of intense consultations with major food security players and resource partners working in the country. The use of IPC in Somalia proved successful in addressing decision makers' needs. Key agencies, FAO and WFP in particular, piloted IPC outside Somalia through awareness raising, regional and country level training, and practical applications. Regional coordination bodies and national food security working groups immediately became the natural platform for leading IPC. Rapidly, the IPC expanded throughout both the Horn of Africa and Asia, confirming its relevance and applicability beyond Somalia. It also helped face the critical challenge of cross-border situation analysis. Drawing from field application and a multi-level experts development process, FAO-FSAU released version 1.0 of the IPC Technical Manual. Countries and donors urged IPC to fulfill its potential as a global and common standard for food security analysis. Eight leading food security agencies took up the call and joined their forces to improve and expand the adoption of IPC. This led to the establishment of the IPC multi-agency partnership and a multi-level coordination mechanism. Supported and trusted by key funding agencies, the IPC partners intensified the field applications and review of the IPC FSAU model and released the enhanced 1.1 version of the IPC Technical Manual. The name IPC was changed, for IPC now aimed to cover the entire spectrum of food security situations no longer limited to crisis countries. This was the dawn of a new era for IPC. Capacity on IPC version 1.1 was developed in over 17 countries in Africa and Asia. Other countries demanded IPC. Collaboration with existing regions increased, particularly in Southern Africa and West Africa. When innovative ideas and emerging technical issues challenged IPC's global applicability, a vibrant, intense, and all-inclusive revision process led to the launch of IPC version 2.0, a key milestone in the IPC development. IPC version 2.0 introduced new functions, new tools, and new procedures, and it successfully enabled the use of IPC in non-crisis contexts. For the first time, chronic and acute food insecurity were clearly defined. A separate IPC chronic classification was developed, extensively tested, and launched. The fast-growing expansion of IPC led to the formulation of a long-term IPC vision and strategic program, and to the strengthening of the global partnership and governance structure. Both loyal and new resource partners confirmed their commitment to support IPC at different levels. It is time to take stock of the results achieved and to look to new horizons. Geographic growth and greater institutional buy-in, extensive capacity building and professionalization of IPC, new technical initiatives and key priorities. Throughout its 10 years of implementation, IPC has consistently been shown to improve food security analysis on a wide scale, enabling a vastly more effective response. Field level application, country feedback, and an inclusive, multi-level consultative process have driven and will keep driving the improvement and impact of IPC in the years to come.